Whether you're a framer newbie or a seasoned pro, mastering the mechanics and tricks of interacting with layers and navigating the canvas will speed up your work tremendously. Let's start with the basic mechanics of selecting layers on the canvas. If you're a Figma or a Sketch user, you're probably used to clicking once to select something that's at the top of the layer hierarchy, then double clicking again and again to drill down, or holding Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, to directly select layers regardless of how deeply they're nested. In Framer, you can think of this as being sort of reversed, in that you can directly select any layer by simply clicking on it without having to hold any modifier key. Might take a little getting used to, but once you adjust, it's actually really nice that the layer hierarchy doesn't get in the way. And you can work your way back up by pressing the escape key. If you think about it, each layer only has one parent, but can have many children. So drilling up with the escape key is much more predictable than drilling down by double clicking or pressing return. And when you have a layer selected, you'll see a dashed box around the direct parent frame, which is exactly what will become selected if you press the escape key. It can take some time to develop the new muscle memory, but if you find yourself holding command on a Mac, control on a PC out of habit when clicking, you'll find in Framer, this is our shortcut to select the direct parent of the layer you're clicking on, which may come in handy. If you just can't seem to get used to all this, you can always switch this to a more Figma-like selection behavior by navigating to the preferences and turning off use direct selection. To select multiple layers, you can hold shift when clicking on each layer, or you can click and drag a box around the layers you'd like to select. Normally, any layer even touched by the box you're dragging will become selected, but you can also hold the alt or option key to limit the selection to only layers that are entirely contained within the selection box. Very useful when things are getting crowded. When things start getting a bit more complex on the design canvas, you can always head to the layers panel and select things directly from there. When a frame has any child layers nested inside, the icon will be blue instead of gray and have a disclosure triangle you can click to expand or collapse its contents. Holding the Alt or Option key when clicking will expand or collapse all the way down the hierarchy too, which is super handy if you're juggling a lot of deeply nested layers. Now, on to moving layers around. In several of the coming lessons, we're going to dive much more deeply into layout and the different types of positioning. But for now, let's keep things freeform and ignore everything but absolute positioning, which will feel a lot like positioning regular layers in Figma or Sketch. When a layer's position type is absolute, you can click and drag to move it around freely. And one of my favorite little tricks, if you hold the Option and Command key on a Mac or Alt and Control on a PC, you can click and drag anywhere on the canvas to move your selection without losing it or accidentally selecting something else. And as you might expect, you can also use the arrow keys to nudge the position of a layer one pixel at a time, or hold Shift to nudge 10 pixels at a time. Both nudge amounts are actually customizable too. Just click the zoom level near the bottom of the canvas and choose nudge amount. When you have multiple layers selected, you'll also find familiar align and distribute buttons at the top of the properties panel. In the previous lesson, I stressed the importance and flexibility of frames. Need a rectangle? Use a frame. Need to group up a set of elements? Use a frame. So inevitably, your design canvas is going to be full of frames and frames within frames. So when you're dragging to move layers around, you'll find that when you drag a layer completely within the bounds of another frame, it'll automatically become nested within that frame. The same goes for using the frame tool to draw a new frame within an existing frame. A little trick if you want things to overlap but prevent the automatic nesting behavior is to hold the space bar while dropping the layer where you want it. This can be super handy later when you're animating things and want to move a layer outside the bounds of its parent without having it pop out. Navigating the canvas is just as important as selecting and moving layers around. Depending on the mouse or trackpad you're using, you can scroll to pan around the canvas. Or you can hold the spacebar to switch to the pan tool and click and drag to pan around. You'll probably do a lot of your work at a zoom level of 100%, but naturally, You'll want to zoom in to work on details and zoom out to navigate large projects. 
There are quite a few tricks for zooming around, and you'll find the most important commands and their shortcuts by clicking on the zoom level near the bottom of the canvas. Here you can see that Z will activate the zoom tool, which lets you click to zoom in, option or alt click to zoom out, or click and drag around the area you'd like to zoom into. You'll often catch me using these shortcuts for zoom in and out, as well as zoom to fit, so I can see everything that's on my canvas, and zoom to selection to zoom and pan to whichever layer or layers I have selected. And then of course, zoom to 100% to go back to seeing everything at its true size. That's it for this one, but don't hesitate to watch it a few times. Then head to Framer, practice these techniques and shortcuts, and start developing that muscle memory. And you'll be zipping around your projects like a pro in no time. I'll see you in the next one.